red grouper though. Around my neck. And the mullet, but all is left. What's up, Star Sizzle Nation? Good morning. I am wide awake this morning, um, but we have one of my good friends, Lisa, on the boat. She's the one that fixes our engines and brings us kingfish dip and takes good care of us. Today, we are going deep sea fishing and we're gonna get out some fish. We ran much further today, like 15 miles this morning, which is a lot more than we usually do. And I, we, I'm sending out live mullet right now on a standard kingfish rig. You wanna make sure that when you put your, 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 your J hook in, that it's facing forward before you actually put the stinger in. You don't want this J-hook way back here because it's gonna pull from the stinger. So you wanna make sure it's facing forward like that and then you go ahead and measure up your stinger and then stick that in the fish. So that way he's not gonna be spinning all over the place and it's gonna be a natural presentation in the water and we're gonna catch a big fish on him hopefully. All right, we're moving locations. We're gonna go down to the Juno ledge. There's no fish right there. And I am enjoying a healthy snack. I think that's a fish. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Family neutral. <laughs> what? Family neutral. Oh man, I hope we land this fish. I feel a fish. Swim back, swim back. All right, that one came off. Unfortunately, came unglued. But at least we got a bite. What are you catching, Lisa? Well, it's just for the birds. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even go there. It's getting to be my specialty. Whoa! Can you turn him? Tur can I turn him? Come on! <laughs> He's Robert. a turn! He's a turn! Da -da -da. Oh, I have a wrap on that one. Alright, he's got me. And he lives to see another day. Success! Alright guys, first catch of the day, a bird. Successful catch and release by Brian and Lisa. I don't want to say anything. I'm going to catch a fish. I'm going to catch a fish. This is my elf from Publix. I take her when I want sandwiches. <laughs> and you got my good side. This is your good side. This is it, baby. Lisa, where's my darn sandwich? It's coming, baby. It's coming. It's coming right up, sir. All right. Coming right up. Now, if you're pro style, you don't only you don't bring sandwiches on the boat. You bring a, someone from Pub, someone who works at Publix on the boat. That's high level. This is the best action I've gotten in two days. You got a panita. Yes, I wonder if I'm struggling. I'm the queen of fishing. I'm the king of fishing today. This is a bonita. We call it a bonita. A little toonie. Summertime tuna. He's got the thing around my neck. Anyway, let's catch more fish. I'm making that my fresh mutton snapper bait now. I'm gonna drop it to the bottom. Woo! Lion screaming action! And he lost them. Good job pulling like that. Paul Beach release. Good job, Googan. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, perfect example of what not to do. You see now he was going like this the whole time. He was just making that hole bigger and bigger and he popped that circle hook right out of his mouth right by the boat. Don't do that. Don't smooth. do that. You gotta do it smooth. Googan. Jump is on. No bonitas for us. Girls are gonna go for the real fish. <laughs> You got fish sizzle? Fish on! We'll double dump over here. I'm trying to clear lines over here. And I got these off. All right, let's go. Yeah, Lisa's on a sailfish, and uh, I just got the, we got, got her turned around. And I'm in gear, uh, chasing them down. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leader touch! Fish will catch for Lisa. Beautiful sailfish. Whoa, he just popped. Dang. Wow. All right, that's a touch. I was trying. Very nice. There's a, there's a delicate balance right there, but um, he was on a wire and he was hooked good, but he was doing all those shakes and I was trying to keep his head in the water and get a hold of that bill uh, because once he's in the water, like like once he has his head above the water like that, it's harder to control. And he was going crazy and he just popped that hook right out. So I was trying to keep him in the water and grab him, but he was just out of reach. And I want to be safe. So, But catch awesome catch for Lisa. Thank you guys. Catch and release. Nice sailfish. 
Let's go get some more fish. Get another one. Yeah. Let's go. Your turn. Fish on. We are like fishing the whole ocean today. We've covered like a lot of miles, like 40 miles, three different inlets. Okay, I just dropped down a live mullet that I caught yesterday. And I guess they've been picking, it, picking and destroying the mullet, but all is left is his lips here. And this is a short mutton snapper. Please stay hooked. I'm talking to my fish right now. Please stay hooked. 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on the bottom, which is a bad idea, with a little Corot mustad circle hook. And um, I'm just trying to get bites. You know, we like to tackle down. We're, we're known for that. Um, <laughs> The lighter the tackle, the better. So now I have a really good fish on. Cool, that's what I had. It was a good fish. These groupers fight hard, just as hard as a good button snapper. Okay, I'm gonna use my Sea Deck ruler over here. Measure them up, but red grouper have to be 20 inches long to keep. And he is way too short. He's just under 18 inches. That's a gorgeous red grouper though. Stoked. So I'm gonna let go ahead and release them. Check this out guys. This is a crab that the red grouper I caught spit up, like he barfed it up. If you know what kind of crab this is, go ahead and let me know down in the description below. I'm curious to find out myself, but I'm gonna use him and see if I can get a grouper on it. Okay, okay. Take my time with this fish. Nice and easy. Don't wanna lose it. We are still bottom fishing. This is like, I don't even know, but like two or three hours later. Oh, wow. Oh, we got But he seems like he's a little bigger, yeah. My mullet's still alive over here in the corner of his mouth. I like to use a, a two times strong mustad circle hook. That was a four rot mustad circle hook. And we're gonna put him on the ruler, see if he's a keeper. But well, that's the second grouper of the day. I don't think I've ever caught more than two grouper here in Palm Beach. So that's pretty cool. A little bigger, 19. He's not a keeper. But we're getting a little bigger, beautiful fish. And it's just amazing that he wanted to eat that big old eight inch uh, live mullet. So we're gonna go ahead and release him. Grow big one day. Wrapping up our day, we're back at the house and today was just a beautiful day on the water. I wish the fishing was a little better, but hey, we got Lisa out on the water, which she's been helping us out so much lately. So I, I was really happy and thankful that we could do that for her and hopefully we'll take her again really soon. But my sister's coming to town, so we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up. We need to decorate my tree that's in the background here. Um, and we're probably not gonna see another video from us before Christmas. So I wanna wish all you guys a Merry Christmas, safe holiday, enjoy your time with your friends and your family, and uh, we'll be back with another adventure really soon. So until then, follow your dream and keep on catching. <laughs>